You heard the latest on Manti Teo earlier in the program. Quite frankly, I don't know what all the fuss is about. I've had imaginary girlfriends long before <laughs> Teo. I mean, the main thing is just to come clean. Put it out there. The first step is to admit that you're not really dating these women. And once you get past that, I think the rest of the world won't even pay any attention to it. I mean, that's just my theory. I do look happy, right? And you get the last word with that. <laughs> Saturday Night Live coming your way. Well, Scott, I heard the Mets did well. Today. Your Mets, Suze. The Mets were less effective than a rubber beak on a woodpecker. <laughs> Swept away in the Bronx. <laughs> so they went down to Tampa, changed it around from doom and gloom back to puppies and sunshine. What a week it's been for gangrene. Crummy loss to Seattle. Anonymous verbal jabs inside the locker room. Jets sound like they're about to implode quicker than a Van Halen practice session. Well, certainly an incredible year in all of sports, a tremendous year in New York sports. I'm joined now by these two handsome fellows to my left, Frank Isola from the New York Daily News, Eamon McEnany from SNY. Fellows, right off the bat, Frank, I'm going to start with you. Biggest sports story of the year, back to Yankee Stadium for a minute, where this reporter asked new bomber Curtis Granderson the most probing question of the day. Have you picked out a song yet to walk up to the plate? I, I've been debating that. That's always been something for I don't for care me. what he uses when he walks up to the plate, but you know what he should use in the field? What do you think? Glove to glove, you baby. Hey! <laughs> there you go. Summer too, huh? ah, okay. I'm standing here at the finish line, and what an amazing sight as people are coming across. You can see the anguish on some people's faces. You can see the joy on some folks' faces. Just the fact that they're finishing this race, and I'll tell you what, I'm being joined right now. You might recognize this young lady, Trista Sutter, from the first season of The Bachelorette, and her husband, Ryan, who she met on the show. Who says these shows don't work out? Uh, Rock, Rock, I don't know if you did that the right way. Wow. <laughs> if you smell la 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 la, you forgot that part. I'll let you do it one more time. Come on. <laughs> wow. Listen, I came all the way from Bergen County to hear you do that. I don't want to hear what I'm going to say, but you'd be the perfect guy to sit in for me uh, with Kelly. I would? Yeah, I think so. You guys so. heard that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I were you, I'd chase Gilbert upstairs and do, well, a little, you put do a lot of kissing up. Without further ado, folks, I want to take a look at this action-packed matchup featuring the one and only Chuck Norris. Hey, fun historical tidbit about Mr. Norris. Did you know that when Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, he had three missed calls from Chuck Norris? I mean, what else would you expect from a guy who can win a game of Connect Four in only three moves? Ball fell right in your lap, huh? Must have felt pretty good. Oh, yeah, it felt great, huh? You said you'd give him a hug when he came back. You're still hugging him. Oh, though. yeah, every night I give him a hug. The ball in the first inning, man. Take me through it. It looked like you had it the whole way. I'm Scott Stanford. She made it to the finals. So you think you can dance? <laughs> that was good. I felt good. On. Keeping order of A.J. Pye. Yankees win this one 5-2. More serious note, basketball legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has gone public about his battle with a rare form of leukemia. Reports out today say Jabbar was diagnosed last December with chronic myeloid leukemia. I'm Mike Ski in the place to be. I went to St. John's <laughs> University. You guys going to let that little girly circle intimidate you at all today? No, right? The invisible jump rope is never too long, never too short, and it always comes with the perfect rip. Order now. Just call 555-88-BROSKI. If you order within the next five minutes, we will throw in a second invisible jump rope absolutely free. Now, in honor of the Jets' peculiar season, I've taken a few liberties, one or two, with one of my favorite Christmas poems. Twas two nights before Christmas, and all everyone keeps saying, the playoffs are near, but the Jets won't be playing. Right from the start, you knew it'd be a weird season. Jets grabbed Tim Tebow with absolutely no rhyme and no reason. One more game till they exit stage right. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. You know, there are folks in Congress working on ways to prevent our economy from falling off this so-called fiscal cliff. I write goofy sports poems. Mike Dupp is coming right back. My sincere thanks to you for laughing at my jokes, singing along with my silly glove songs, and it really has been an honor. What do I get the woman who has everything? 
Well, a picture with me and of me <laughs> and my oh. autograph. Can you see that? There we go. Gosh. Oh, oh my no, God. Huh? Oh. 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 <laughs> you received a lot of gifts tonight, yeah. but you don't have one of I these. I don't have on one of the these. Put it right there. Look at there. that. Yeah. Yeah. Good oh, luck lovely. in your broadcasting <laughs> career. Love Scott Stanford. <laughs> you yeah. are the best guy. Right you are the desk. absolute yeah. best. I love you. Thank you. Yeah. Love you, you know what he gave her for my birthday? <laughs> what? A picture of himself. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. There's a pattern here.